so hello um today i'm going to tell about um on officers um lecture on i'm going to recap that on um, 11th april 2024 and the topic was in gene regulation and the topic on that day was regulation of cholesterol biosynthesis and um so this actually in involves um three different organelles the signaling between three different organelles signaling or yeah and that is er golgi and nucleus it requires um communication between them and this so the thing is um this regulation of cholesterol biosynthesis is actually regulated by a protein known as or involves a protein very important protein in this case is srebp this is um its full form is this part is sterol regulatory element so it is the promoter region of something that our gene or something that um regulates its biosynthesis of sterols um which is in case of higher organisms is cholesterol and in case of yeast is oxysterol well and bp is binding protein so this is such a protein which um has the ability to bind to the sterol regulatory element okay so and the thing is um so what happens um there are actually three types of srebp um well first of all us um first of all let's know how it works so it is actually present in the er membrane and when the cholesterol level is low at that time it is shifted to golgi and then when um and then out there um th in the golgi this a part two parts of this are cleaved and the part one part one of its part actually moves to the nucleus and there it actually um acts it actually acts as a transcription factor and leads to the production of sterol and a variety of sterol so that sort of molecules so as i said there are three types of srebp first of all srebp it is a1 then there is a c and there is two srebp a1 srebp 1 c and srebp 2 so this a1 and um a c and 1 c are actually actually um is a transcription factor or i mean what is it it actually regulates the fatty acid biosynthesis and all these three types of srebp actually have kind of um same mechanism of action okay and and see this very i mean first of all so that was a sort of overview so now the thing is um i mean what are the sources of cholesterol so it has mainly two sources that is food directly from food we can get cholesterol and secondly it would be biosynthesis from other um compounds or other molecules and this particular process of biosynthesis or the level of cholesterol is quite tightly maintained because in excess it will be a problem for the system for the living system or the organism um so that's it and this very these very pathways of cholesterol synthesis was actually figured out or worked out by two scientists namely um brown and goldstein brown and gold 
13 and these their findings actually led to a um, molecule known as statin which has the ability to um, stop biosynthesis of cholesterol okay and so let's know at first know that how the um, cholesterol biosynthesis is actually regulated inside our cells well um, well um, let's start with the beginning so let's imagine that this is the well this is the plasma membrane of ER endoplasmic reticulum and this is the ear lumen okay and this is the cytosol so out here this wait a second so out here this this actually has this domain and well this is what I what I'm drawing is um, SREBP so this is SREBP and beside it there is another protein and it is a trans 8 transmembrane protein okay and this protein is known as scap its full form is um, SREBP and I forgot it um i forgot the well whatever it is i forgot the name most probably um srvp let me see so i don't remember and so out here there is another protein known as in seek ai in I sorry I N S I G and the thing is um out around out this region cholesterol binds and that is at the sixth between the sixth and the seventh transmembrane part of the protein scap and um so when this protein actually when this cholesterol actually binds this part it's bound to this part um, it can attach to this one and this particular attachment actually prevents this cap protein to connect to and this part actually attaches to this part of um, ER of um, the of the SRBP pro protein and but when this part actually attaches to this one it actually um, prevents the binding of scap to cop2 protein and but when the cholesterol level is low at that time um, the um, since cholesterol does not bind out here so and in case of low cholesterol this in seek also gets degraded so it, this cap protein does not bind to this in seek protein and it can bind to cop2 since this binds to cop2 and it is also bound to this one this whole structure actually goes to the golgi to golgi and what happens in Gol Golgi is this um, so this is
the whole G. And this part, this right side part is double helix, sorry, helix, loop helix. This part is actually a transcription factor for the, um, for that um, for that for example for sterol so out here there are two other proteins okay. so out here there is a protein um this is known as um is one p or site one protease site one protease so this protein actually cuts this is the golgi okay i mean i mean this whole thing is in golgi and they, this protein actually um cleaves out at this region when this cleavage takes place at that time only at that time another protein beside it known as s2p only after this part gets cleaved this protein can cleave at this region this is this is site 2 protease and on this cleavage um, this part gets released into the cytoplasm and by the nuclear I mean this nuclear trafficking inside the nucleus and outside due to the signals and importers and through that way i mean this h l h actually enters the nucleus and inside it actually acts as a transcription factor to transcript the came in the molecules which are needed for um the synthesis of sterol out in this case what we're particularly focusing is the cholesterol so this is it and in case of cholesterol the srebp is 2 uh, so this is it so let's recap it once again so first of all um so this srebp is present in the er and in er there is another protein called scap i currently don't remember the name although i didn't tell the name but there is a name for this this a is srebp and i don't recall and this is protein i guess or protease i don't recall whatever and so this this particular scap protein actually binds to srebp and this particular srebp and scap complex can bind um at some position of i mean this actually can recruit cop protein to take them or carry them to um golgi but this binding of cop this binding of cop 2 with scap and srbp complex um is actually prevented when cholesterol binds to scap because when cholesterol binds to scap at that time it can bind to in seek and when it binds to in seek this cop2 protein this this interaction with cop2 protein is prevented so at low molecular weight uh, at when the concentration of cholesterol is low at that time only at that time this cap and the srbp complex can move to the uh, move to golgi and till i mean after it reaches golgi only at that time it it is it can be cleaved by two proteins which are present in Golgi. These are S1P and S2P, that is site 1 protease and site 2 protease. So when these two cuts, it produces HLH transcription factor, which goes to the nucleus and results to the synthesis, uh, to the transcription of molecules that are needed for the biosynthesis of sterol. So that's it. That was the ultimate thing of the lecture and that there.